afternoons with Gillian O'Shaughnessy. 7.20 ABC Perth. Where do you think the best surf break is in Western Australia? <laughs> What's it like to surf it? Let me know, 1300 222 720. Or send me a text 0437 922 720. We're going to find out the best surf secrets of one man shortly. Are you prepared to share yours? to discover the best surf breaks in Western Australia. Maybe it's just a beautiful spot. Maybe you're a keen surfer, but you don't want the long road trip. You want to see, then, a new film which premieres in Perth tomorrow night, Barnacles and Stripes. Director, camera operator and producer, Carsten Reimer, uh, joins us on Afternoons. I tell you what, that's a lot of roles, Carsten, and I'm quite suspicious you didn't want anyone else going with you to, to um, share your secret surf spots. Well, thank you very much. I wish I could have surfed them all myself, but unfortunately I was stuck on the beach filming, so could have probably brought a few friends along with me. Now, at Barnacles and Stripes, I get the word barnacles in a, in a surf uh, film. What was yeah. Stripes? Stripes, well, it, it's a pretty weird one. Uh, barnacles and Stripes, I think, came uh, into power when I was I uh, surfed a lot in Esperance, and there was this one wave in particular that would break over a really shallow reef that had, you know, it was just covered in barnacles, and... Uh, on, I think it would have been about my third surf at that spot. I came off on the takeoff and my face was the first thing to hit the reef and it pretty much shredded my face and uh, ended up with a lot of scars. So I thought, you know, the stripes would, would be the scars and barnacles causing them. So that's where barnacles and stripes came from. A war way. War way. <laughs> <laughs> You're very yeah, nice. It hurts a lot. My, my face was numb for quite a long time. <laughs> now, perhaps you can explain for listeners who, uh, who don't surf, who, who haven't uh, done the, the travels that you have, what is the lure of, of a great great surf break? Well, I think, I think the isolation, I think, is, is the most important thing. I think there's, there's nothing better than rocking up to a beach with just you and your mates and there's no one out. I mean, a lot of the Metro listeners probably won't, uh, won't know that as well if they surf at Trigg because you're, you're surfing with about 50 to 60 other people. But, you know, if you head to the southwest or if you head up, up north a bit, you can, you can really find a nice little oasis to yourself. And, and, you know, the waves are just absolutely amazing there. And how lucky are we, in, I'm assuming we're lucky, in Western yeah. Australia to have, uh, I mean, tell us about some of, the, some of the rare beauty that we have up and down the coast that you have um, captured in the film. Well, I, th I think uh, sometimes some people take for granted how lucky we are here. We've got, you know, the most amazing landscapes on offer. The water's a bit cold down the southwest, but up north it's a bit warmer. And, you know, we've got amazing world-class waves that we can surf. And as a photographer, I imagine um, it, when, you're, when you're trying to portray this on film, how, how tricky it is to catch that perfect shot when, you, when you're dealing with you know, staying afloat or out of the way on the shore. How, how did you deal with that aspect of it? Well, I had a lot of frustrating moments. If I had a dollar for every time, I, I looked away for a second and then looked to my left or something and, you know, Sean Green or someone was pulling into a barrel and I missed it. I mean, there's... This film, you know, it's, you know, uh, you know, point eight of a percent of the surfing action that goes on in the States. And uh, I, th I think that the best thing is just to, to be there all the time. And uh, the, the amount of sessions I had shooting, um, just, you know, just trying to capture everything and, you know, never going to capture everything. But I did my best, I think. We're talking to Carsten Reimer on 720 ABC Perth. Uh, his film Barnacle and Barnacles and Stripes premieres in Perth uh, tomorrow night. N and filming uh, great surf breaks is one thing, Carsten, but I, I imagine you need good surfers. Who were you able to get on the waves for the film? 
Well, I was very lucky. I mean, every, every, I think, I think the, the level of surfing in this state is amazing. I mean, it really is world class. And obviously we've got the local hero, Taj Burrow, who is one of the best surfers in the world. And he grew up surfing in the southwest. And in the film I have an interview with him where, where he does say that, you know, the surfing in the southwest did contribute to his success on the world tour. There's uh, lots of listeners that are uh, texting 0437 922 720 or calling in, Carsten, uh, to tell you about their best uh, surf breaks. So, uh, GM, I think, aged 11, says Ocean Beach in Denmark. I'm not sure if you if you got there, Carsten. Or Ken said, uh, is it Cobba or Quabba is the best? These are these might Quabba. talk. Cobba. It may well be. Kev hasn't, <laughs> hasn't said. A, ca a caller would like to know if Carsten, if you're ever worried about sharks or whether you've ever filmed any. Uh, I haven't filmed any. I've had a lot of experiences with dolphins when they, they pop up next to you, and I think the first thing that goes through your head is sharks, but uh, I haven't had any run-ins with sharks, luckily, and I try not to think about it. I think the more you think about it, the more you worry, and I, I, think, I think the benefits of surfing uh, you know, outweigh the, the fear of sharks you know, a lot. And you've also worked on uh, the big production of Drift, I understand. What was that like? Uh, it was amazing. I, I remember I got the call about a, a week into the shoot and it was a dream come true because the cinematographer Rick Rafici was working on it and he's you know, one of the world's best and it was such an amazing experience working with him and, and you know, working alongside stars like Sam Worthington and, and uh, Xavier Samuels was amazing. Um, and I actually met quite a lot of the surfers uh, from Bunkers and Stripes on Drift. So people like Sean Green who was the main uh, stunt double for Xavier Samuels and it was just such a dream come true to you know, spend every day working on the beach filming you know the best surfing of that region. And surf films so you're probably a bit a bit young to remember Carson but they're very popular in the 60s and I was a big fan of the Gidget television <laughs> series. <laughs> How much of a comeback do you think surf films are making? I think I think they're making a huge comeback because I, I can't think of anything better than you know sitting down and watching a surf film and I think something like that will never go away and I think the level of surfing is just increasing it you know the stuff that you see from John John Florence or anyone like that is just incredible and, and surf films are only getting bigger so it's, um, I'm really happy to you know start start my career making them. And uh, you're donating profits from the film to charity. Can I just ask you, ask you um, it's, it's for the Royal Flying Doctors, which is just such a fantastic cause. So what, it is, yeah. what's your uh, connection? Well, when my brother Alex was about eight months old, he got very sick. And I remember we were um, at home and, and his eyes almost started rolling into the back of his head. We rushed him to the doctor's. And the doctor said, you know, we've got to take him straight to hospital. And it turned out he had uh, septic arthritis, which basically was uh, poisoning his blood. And um, they, they actually didn't think that he was he was going to survive it. Um, within 45 minutes, the Royal Fund Doctor Service had him on a plane. An hour and a half later, they, they had him at PMH, which is just incredible. I mean, from Esperance, you know, which is, you know, an eight, ten hour drive to, to get someone within a, a hospital, you know, in two and a half hours. And I actually managed to save his life. Uh, so thanks to all the team at PMH and of course RFDS for the incredibly quick journey up. Now, well, they do an absolutely ripper job, both of them. And I, I, the film Barnacles and Stripes premieres tomorrow night, Cinema Paradiso in Northbridge. Uh, profits going to the Royal Flying Doctors and Surf Aid. Uh, Carsten, what, uh, what time and can people just rock up? Uh, it, it's best to buy the tickets online, um, but people are more than welcome to rock up on the night. They can walk through the red carpet. Uh, it starts at 8pm, um, and there's also a board raffle for people, you know, maybe people that don't surf, they might see the film and get excited. They can even win a board there and start surfing. Fantastic, fantastic. Right. <laughs> and and just give us the, web, the website. The website um, is www.barnaclesandstripes.com. Dot com. Great. Brilliant work, Carsten. Good luck Great. with it. Fantastic cause. And what a wonderful way to, um, to, uh, to, to travel WA. Thank you so much for your time. Carsten Reimer, uh, that's barnaclesandstripes.com and you can see that at Cinema, Cinema Paradiso on Great Surf Breaks. Jillo from Greg, Tombstones at Nalu is the most epic break ever. Would you describe it, Greg, as gnarly? Oh, well, everybody's heard about the bird. The bird, bird, bird. The bird's a winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. The bird is a winner.
that's the trash man. Surfing bird.